For the last couple of days, I've been having this issue where Wi-Fi option would totally disappear from my laptop. And I couldn't find the option in settings or quick settings menu or anywhere in the laptop. But with a little bit of work and tweaks, I was finally able to fix it. Hey guys, I'm Zenogrid and in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can fix the Wi-Fi disappearing issue from your Asus Stuff A15 or F15 laptop. Now all of you guys might not have the same issue, some of you guys might have hardware issue and some of you guys might have software issue. Which is why I'm gonna give you guys multiple solutions that you can do. And let me know down in the comment which one worked for you. However, before we begin, if your laptop is still under the warranty period, I would recommend you to just go ahead and claim that warranty. One of my friends did that and he got his network card changed for free. And that's basically the best case scenario. But for some reason, if you can't avail the warranty, well, follow this video. The first thing I'd recommend you to do is troubleshoot your laptop using MyAsus software. Every Asus laptop comes with an application named MyAsus. You'll find MyAsus software in the start menu. Simply go into the software, then go to customer support, then hit check up on wireless connection. If the problem can be fixed with a software update or something like that, it will show you a solution. Otherwise, it will just recommend you to get a ticket for a visit to a service center. In that case, go to the next step. Issues like this can simply be a driver or Windows update issue. And in that case, it can be simply fixed by updating the driver. Now Windows update can simply be done by going to Windows settings, then Windows updates. Then if there's any update available, go ahead and download and install it. Driver updates can easily be done by using a software like iobit driver booster. Not sponsored, I just like the software. Go ahead and download and install the software, link will be in the description box below. Hit scan and look for WLAN card driver. Obviously just go ahead and update that. Now in my case what happened was that it was showing me, I mean iobit driver booster was showing me that this thing, I mean this hardware is actually missing. Which basically suggests that the card was not connected properly. Such an issue can also be a result of some kind of virus infection. And in that case, I would recommend you to reset your laptop or reinstall Windows on your laptop. Now I actually faced this, so I installed a cracked game on my laptop and every time I would play that game, my internet connection would stop working. So you basically get the idea that this can be an issue. So if you think that your laptop is having some kind of issue like that, like if you play cracked games a lot or you go to weird websites a lot, you can go ahead and reinstall Windows and that might actually fix it. So to reset your PC, oh also before we reset your PC, you can go ahead and reset network connection. For that go to settings, then go to network and internet, then go to advanced network settings, then hit network reset. Well, I hope that works. And well, if that doesn't work, then go to settings and search for reset on your PC and go ahead and reset it. And also I would recommend you to back up everything you have on your laptop because resetting will actually delete everything. And the same way you can reinstall Windows, there's a lot of tutorial on the internet. You can follow any one of them to do a clean installation. Another thing that might be able to fix it is BIOS update. I'll link the official website down in the description box below. From there, find your laptop model, then go to softwares, then go to BIOS and firmware and find the latest BIOS for your laptop. And we'll simply install it and that might be able to fix the issue. Now if none of them works, it just might be that the connection is not properly done on your laptop. And in that case, I would recommend you to reinstall the network card. Just open the laptop, clean it and reinstall it. And here's how you can do that. And this actually fixed the issue for me. So I would say this is highly recommended. Now disassembling your laptop is much easier than you think. And don't worry about it, your warranty won't be void if you disassemble your laptop. So here are all the things that you will need to do this. So first you will need a screwdriver obviously to open the screws. Then you will need some alcohol pads to clean the network card. Hope I can focus it. Now if you don't have alcohol pads near you, you can find them in any pharmacy. So just go ahead and look for them. And then you will need some kind of plastic pry tool. Now I am just using this blue card from a sim company. But any plastic pry tool would do. Just make sure that it's plastic and it's hard enough to be used as a pry tool. Don't use any kind of metal pry tool here. So first of all go ahead and unscrew all of the screws that you can see here. And also don't forget to keep them organized. 
And also this screw won't come out of the shell, so don't worry if it doesn't come out for you. Now after unscrewing all the screws from here, go ahead and insert the plastic card in one of the corners. Now it won't be much easy, so you will have to use some brute force here, but don't worry, eventually it will go in and you'll be able to take the top lid off or bottom lid, however you want to say it. But well, there we go. So there we go, we have one of the sides completely open from the chassis and well, it will take some time and brute force. So take your time and keep at it, you'll be able to do it easily. So here you can see, I almost completed doing the disassembly. So well, now that we have that, you might end up breaking something, so be careful on that, don't break anything. Otherwise, it's a easy disassembly. So I hope you were able to see it. So here we go. Here we have the internals of our laptop. Now the network card is at the bottom of this SSD. So take your screwdriver again and take this SSD off. So we'll first take this cover off of that SSD. Then take the SSD off. And here we have our network card. So as you can see, it's under the SSD, which I think is the reason why this happens, because the heat from SSD might go into this thing, and that's why some kind of issue is occurring. It's just my thought. I don't know if that's the case, but that's what I think it happens. So go ahead and unfasten this screw as well. Also be careful with screws. And, and we'll take the network card off from here. Now you don't have to take the wire off, so here we have the network card. So take one of the alcohol pads, so just go ahead and open it. Then just clean the contact points. Now after cleaning the contact points, let the alcohol dry a bit. And after a few seconds, go ahead and reinsert it into the slot. By the way, my network card actually works now. I don't have any issue with it. But I'd recommend you to do a little bit more cleaning on it. I just showed you how to, but do a little bit more cleaning. So I hope you are able to see it. And now just go ahead and fasten the screw again. Also while putting the SSD back in, don't forget about the cover. Now after that, just put the lid back on and fasten the screws again and that will be it. Well, if none of them worked, it just might be that your network card is actually broken. So just go to a service center and they'll tell you guys what to do if you need to change it or replace it or something like that. So well, that's it for today and if this video helped, then please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It'll mean a lot to me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.